This is how to paint your Necron Ghost Arc. Here's a look at the finished model. Begin by base coating the entire model in Chaos Black. This can be done with spray paint or by hand. Using Dark Angel's Green, put a little bit of paint on the brush and gently dab it on random parts of the surface. This is used to create a somewhat random looking effect and you can see where it picks up on the light. Do this to the whole of the model except for the character and any vents or particularly mechanical looking structures. It is best to make this most prominent in areas near the back section or the underside of the craft. You can see how it picks up with the light here. Next, repeat the, the last step with stock green and get out goblin green and gently dry brush that against any edges of the model to highlight them. Similarly to how the model on the box has been painted. Try to make this most noticeable near the higher edges of the craft. Next get out scorpion green and do a very similar thing except do a lot less of it and also use it to paint the orb at the top of the spinal section and the edges of the prow. Especially at the front corners. And also use it to paint the orb just in front of the command module. It is best when painting the orbs to try and get as clean a paint stroke as possible. Next, uh, I'm going to go through this very quickly. Use shining gold and chainmail to paint the back uh, sphere encasing and use shining gold to paint shining gold or burnished gold to paint the runes on the front and just in front of the command module and then use burnished gold to paint the shoulder panels and the crest of the pilot as well as his rune you can paint his limbs in chainmail and the extra spinal column in bolt gun metal before using the same bolt gun metal to paint the vents at the sides and also that slight grill at the back and any other details which you think should look metallic. Paint the driver's eyes with green, preferably scorpion green. Next on to the main ribcage. For the tops of each section you want to paint the orbs with green such as scorpion green and you can use bolt gun metal for the rune section and I'll quickly go over how each of the guns has been painted but you want to paint the front uh, spike sections with a quick dry brushing of bolt gun metal and then each of the sections which holds the guns in place with bolt, uh, either bolt gun metal or chain mail depending on your preference and the guns themselves. Here is one example. 
You want to begin by painting the tube with goblin green and trying to avoid filling in any of the gaps. And you can use bolt gun metal to paint the barrel end and the blade. And you can also use goblin green to paint the tubing near the rear end of the gun. And it's not green to paint the coils that wrap around to give it a darker look. This can be done individually or dry brushed. Next, take each of your warriors, if you've magnetized them, and give them a quick dry brush of bolt gun metal before painting the, their eyes and the eyes of the scarabs with scorpion green. And here's a look with almost the entire thing done, with all of the warriors lined up. For the orb in the front, we'll have a look at that in the next clip. And also the command module. You want to paint the orb in the command module in ice blue, and the buttons with ice blue and scab red. And you can give the scab red a, a quick few dots of um, blood red. And the orb at the front was painted scorpion green and these sections around it were given a quick coat of shining gold. And here's the finished model. Ready to carry your warriors into battle. Thanks for watching this quick video. If you'd like to uh, any more information, sorry I'm saying that line, just leave a comment below. And check out my battle reports. Bye guys.